So this question states, the client diagnosed with migraine headaches that occurs every two to three days is placed on preventive therapy with propanolol. Okay? So they're giving propanolol as a preventive therapy. Okay? Prophylaxis. Which data indicates the medication is effective. So here we see this keyword. We're looking for an answer that tells me that the patient is better. One, the client has had one headache episode in the past week. Two, the client's apical pulse is 58 beats per minute. Three, the client has developed orthostatic hypotension. Four, the client supplemented propanolol with sumatriptan four times. Hmm, what an interesting scenario. So if you review the stem of the question, it tells you that the headaches, the migraine headaches, occurs every two to three days. So let's go with every two days. You know that there are seven days in a week. So if it happened every two days, the patient experienced at least, at least three episodes of migraine headaches that week. If happened every three days, the patient experienced at least two that week. And look what answer number one says. The client has had one headache episode in the past week. A week is seven days. So one headache, seven days. Is there an improvement between the stem of the question and the answer? Yes, there is an improvement. What was the problem on the stem of the question? Headaches. The frequency of the headaches. Which answer deals with the same problem and shows an improvement? Answer number one. And you may say, oh, professor, this is too easy. This is very simple. But use the same concept on other questions, on harder questions. I want you to learn concept, not an answer. What is the concept behind this scenario? That you discover that there was a problem on the stem of the question that was headache, and there is an answer that doesn't say the headache, the, the headache is better, but he has fewer episodes of migraine headaches. So since the episodes reduce, that indicates an improvement. Now, do you really need to know the mechanism of action or category of propanolol to answer this question? No. No, because I am looking for symptoms that, in, that shows improvement. I can see improvement in other areas, but if it does not relate to the problem on the stem of the question, then it's not the answer. Look at answer number one. The apical pulse is 58. Well, we have a little bit of bradycardia here because the range, the normal range is 60 to 100. So 58 shows bradycardia. Why the bradycardia? Well, you know that propanolol, Inderol, the other name, is a beta blocker, and a beta blocker slows the conduction of the heart, the atrioventricular conduction, and it can decrease, it will decrease, hopefully if it's effective, the heart rate 
of the heart. So it can cause bradycardia. And you may ask, well, Professor, but a quick question. What is the relationship with propanolol and migraine headaches? Because I can see propanolol being administered for tachycardia. But why migraine headaches? What's the relationship between? Well, propanolol, it is very effective as a prophylactic medication to prevent migraine headaches because of the effect of reducing blood vessel dilation, which is known to contribute for migraine headaches. And it also uh, decreases the excitability of the nervous system. So it helps a little bit with that as well. It is the most common and most effective first line of medication as a prophylactic medication to treat migraine headaches. So an important uh, knowledge or concept to learn in regards to propanolol and migraine headaches. So answer number two, we know that answer number two, the decrease in the heart rate, it is the effect of the medication, but it's not the reason why it was given on the stem of the question. Because you could say, Oh, that's uh, awesome. The, the heart rate decreased. That is the effect of a beta blocker. Yes, but it's not the reason why it was given on the stem of the question. And it's not the problem on the stem of the question because the patient doesn't have tachycardia. The reason why we're giving propanolol is not to treat tachycardia. It's to treat the migraine headaches as a prophylactic medication. So answer number two, I can eliminate. Answer number three, the client has developed orthostatic hypotension. Well, we know that the blood pressure can also decrease, okay? It affects more the heart rate, but the blood pressure can also decrease. And the patient can have hi hypotension or low blood pressure when the patient stands up. So this does not show an improvement and has no correlation with the reason of why the propanolol was given on the stem of the question. So answer number three is eliminated. Answer number four, read the answer. It says, the client supplemented Propanolol with another medication, which, which is called sumatriptan. And I ask you, when does a patient need to supplement a medication? When does a patient need to use another medication to supplement one medication that has been prescribed? When the medication is not being effective. So sumatriptan, it is used to treat the symptoms of migraine headaches. But if it had to be given on top of the propanolol, it means that it did not get better. If it got better with propanolol, no need to use another medication. So answer number four, we can eliminate. The correct answer is number one, okay? <laughs>